and loud chants calling for a free Palestine could be heard downtown today. Two pro-Palestinian advocacy groups based here in Chicago teamed up for the rally. The two groups gathered this morning near Water Tower Park. Those in attendance are calling for leaders like Senators Tammy Duckworth and Dick Durbin to demand that Israel end the war. And tomorrow, more than 1,000 Jewish Americans across the Midwest are expected to rally right here in Chicago. From Missouri to Wisconsin, demonstrators say they will demand an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. And Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu hinted that there may be a deal in the works to release hostages being held by Hamas terrorists. Meanwhile, Hamas says that they've stopped negotiating over Israel's handling of Gaza's largest hospital. CBS News' Christian Benavides reports. The ground war in Gaza is intensifying. Hospitals in northern Gaza are essentially out of service. These are the hallway corridors inside of Al-Shifa Hospital, where newborns had to be taken off incubators because there's no electricity. We have several families that they are there, and these are patients. We need to understand that we have to protect the hospitals. Any attack in the medical care at the moment is an attack in humanity. Israel says Hamas militants are using Al-Shifa as their command center underground. They're calling for everyone, including patients, to be evacuated, releasing these images of Israeli soldiers delivering fuel to the hospital for their generators. While there is a daily humanitarian four-hour pause, for now a ceasefire is not an option until all hostages are released, says Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Is there a potential there, deal? There could there could be, but I think the less I say about it, the more I'll increase the chances that it materializes. And it's a result of pressure, military pressure. Presidential hopeful Chris Christie in the region Sunday got a look at some of the arsenal Israeli troops have seized from Hamas. This weekend, large rallies in Tel Aviv and Paris called for hostages held by Hamas to be released. While international pressure continues to mount for a ceasefire. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. Today, the Rafah border crossing into Egypt from Gaza reopened. After closing for two days, foreigners and injured Palestinians have once again started to arrive in Egypt.